Today I'm gonna to take you through a simple way of programming for calisthenics, body weight, strength, handstands. So let's first write down your goals. So let's say our goals are planche, press handstand, 60 second freestanding handstand, and a handstand push-up. Now we could say that the handstand push-up is strength, the 60 second freestand handstand is balance, the press handstand is strength, and the planche is strength. Now to get all of those things, we need some sort of level of flexibility and mobility. So we have three components. We have the strength, we have the balance, and we have the flexibility mobility. Now most people training towards these type of skills have already some sort of strength, but most people are very lacking, very lacking, are lacking greatly, are really struggling with flexibility and mobility. So straight away, we need to make sure that this is something we take care of. Now, I personally started training these skills when I was 37 years old. I'm about to turn 46. Now at 37, I could barely touch my toes. I couldn't sit in a resting squat. My flexibility was terrible. Now I can put my head on my toe. I can sit flat in pancake. I've still got some stuff to work on, but my flexibility is very good for a male 46 year old who's relatively strong. And what it's done is it's made these movements way more efficient and much, much easier because I have the range of motion to achieve them. So my recommendation is for the flexibility and mobility that you build a daily practice. Now daily practice sounds a lot, but what we want to have is around 10 to 15 minutes or say 10 to 20 minutes of mobility work with the goal to hit it five to six times a week. So we can call that a daily practice. Now it sounds a lot, but we wanna be hitting this in the daytime, throughout the day, in one section, whatever works for you, before your training, start of the day, you just wanna get in the habit of visiting these positions. Now what are those positions? For most people, they're gonna be thoracic spine, quad, hip flexor stretch, hamstrings, and then something for glute area, so like a pigeon stretch or something like that. So let's put it as pigeon because everyone knows what that is. So basically we just wanna be hitting those things on a daily basis and make sure we're progressing our flexibility that makes this type of stuff much easier. Now obviously the flexibility and mobility is gonna be dependent on your current level and also your goals. Because if your goal is a stall to press but you can't sit and straddle, this is gonna be an issue, we need to really work on this. So obviously we need to move this around a little bit depending on you. So straight away we've got this bit out the way now and we can just focus on balance and strength. So literally two workouts. So we have a B and a strength. Now depending on your strength goals, but let's say we split them into two sessions. So maybe you have your push and your pull, your straight arm and your bent arm, but you basically have strength one, strength two. So we have two sessions there. Balance, we can keep that as one session, so that's either working on the wall with your heel pulls, your toe pulls, or you're kicking up to freestanding, depending on what level you're at, but you've got one strength session. We wanna be here around, again, depending on your goals, but thinking about 20 minutes, say 30 minute max for that. Strength session split between two, we wanna be going 30 to 45 minutes for each of those. And then all we're gonna do is then we've got three sessions to fit in. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then we can just start filling them in. So we have our B sessions. Now to get good at handstands, you really wanna be doing that at least three or four times a week. So let's go with four. So we have a B session there. Let's put a B session there. We'll do a double session in the middle of the week because we're crazy. One, two, three. And then we'll put one on a Saturday. Then we need to decide whether we want days off and things like that. Do you want a full rest day? Some people do, some people don't. Strength sessions, we gotta put those in. Now I'm recommending that, depending on your goals, where they weigh up, if one is way more important, we wanna be doing a few more sessions per week than the other one. But let's say they're equal, so we're gonna do two sessions of strength one, two strength of strength two. Again, we've got four sessions to go in. So let's put, first we'll do our balance followed by a strength one. So we got an ST1 there. We need to spread that out, so let's put an ST1 there, we'll put an ST2 by itself there, but it could go against this balance session here. And then we just need to get one ST in here, ST2. So now we have 
one, two, three, four strength sessions, we have one, two, three, four balance sessions, and we have our week sorted, we have two rest days. And our flexibility is being taken care of because we're hitting that daily practice. So DP is happening up and down here. And I recommend you try and work out how you can fit in your flexibility work into your day. You're doing your shoelaces up, do it in the hamstring stretch. Stick your foot up on the bench, do your shoelaces up like this. Work on your hamstring flexibility throughout the day. You're doing the weeding, you're doing the garden, and work on your forward fold position. Visit those positions as much as possible. You're in your pancake, you're playing with the kids, you're on your laptop, you're just sitting in that position, you're watching TV, you're playing Xbox in that position. Spend as much time in the positions that you're trying to improve throughout the day. If your flexibility is terrible, just make those positions much, much easier. Don't go too intense. Think higher frequency, so training it more often and less intense. Now I'd always recommend if you can work with a coach, it's good to have that another set of eyes looking at this sort of thing, actually going into specifics on what you should be doing on each day to reach the goal that you're on. But if you're doing it by yourself, just slowly fill these in and don't overcomplicate it. There's loads of different programs out there that are really, really good, but most people will chop and change all the time and they try and make things way too complicated. So they're working something that's massively long in terms of a program, they have 25 different exercises to get done in one session because they saw someone on Instagram yesterday, TikTok yesterday, and they're totally confused. Keep it as simple as possible. Try and get some big bang exercises. So one or two exercises that are hitting numerous goals at the same time. Now let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions around programming and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.